So when we started the engineering test unit project, it had three explicit goals. It was effectively to demonstrate that we could build a large scale salt system. It was a vehicle for us to be able to better understand our supply chain. Third and last, one of the main objectives for ETU was to be able to develop an operations team to be able to run a facility of this scale and incorporate that learning back in uh, to future iterations. And so by learning to run a facility like the engineering test unit, you get a lot of valuable feedback, that operating experience that goes into the design. The concept for the engineering test unit emerged, um, I would say, in the spring of 2018. We had identified very early that uh, one of the keys for doing iterations faster was to take out the nuclear component. So that pushed us towards um, thinking about larger scale non-nuclear tests and also going smaller in scale. So the rapid iterative development process is something that is central to Kairos' strategy, in particular how we're going to develop nuclear technology faster and at lower cost than many people believe is possible. The engineering test unit really is the first larger scale integration of a lot of the key components for the reactor that we'll, we'll need to work in, in concert for, for our overall plants and systems to be successful. Where we believe that cost certainty comes as a, as a product of four major work streams, and those work streams are building uh, technology certainty, that, that it will actually work as you envision it working and as you've designed it to work. Licensing certainty, which is primarily through ensuring that, that there is a path forward through regulatory acceptance and that, that, that there's supply chain certainty. So even with our strategy of, of internal manufacturing, so making sure that we understand the long lead items and uh, the costs uh, and where those come from. And then finally, build certainty. So the, the experience in assembly and integration and construction is um, well, emerged as one of the major challenges in, in many conventional nuclear projects. The engineering test unit provides us with really our first iteration around building a system which is not a reactor, but it, it actually looks incredibly similar in, in, in many respects to what an actual reactor system will look like when it goes together. It's so exciting today that we have progressed to the point where we are entering into the commissioning phase and operate the largest FLIB system ever built in the world. We had to do all of the things that are needed in order to develop reactor technologies, and not just the design, not just the analysis, but also figuring out how to pursue the manufacturing, develop the supply chain, perform the construction. We built the building. We've done so much during this period, and that's why it's so exciting that we're moving into the commissioning phase for this major project. The fact that we've been able to, to, to move forward very quickly has been kind of, you know, I think it's a true testament to um, the capabilities that we are, I would say, just starting to, to really appreciate and, and fully develop. It's not an easy mission, but it's critically important. And Kairos is making investments in infrastructure and capabilities, um, but most importantly, we're making investments in our team, recognizing that, that we are a people-centered com company and that the value and capabilities of our people is what's going to enable our success is, is core to everything that we're doing.